To demonstrate these tools, I'm going to open an actual article to show you how these tools work. So I'm going to click back, and that'll take me back to my initial page with all of the elements for my topic. You'll notice also at the bottom how this topic is categorized to kind of find your way back in the database. And it also gives you some related research topics. So if this isn't the exact topic you're looking for, but you're looking for something maybe somewhat similar, this is to give you some ideas. You can scroll through here and see if any of these topics are more along the lines of what you're looking for. I'm going to scroll back up and look at the pros and cons articles. So if I open up one of these articles, this is a pro to the global health community's quick response to outbreaks, keeps them from spreading globally. So we're going to select the first article. This is a pro article. You'll notice at the top, not just the title, but also what type of sources this is. This is a newspaper. This is the author, where it was published, and when. It also offers a Lexile score. This is the reading level of the article. You can always listen to this article, and you can also translate it into another language. So if you're more comfortable reading in Spanish, or Italian, Japanese, French, you can do that as well. So to begin with, you have a summary. Again, some publication information on the article. And then you have the full article itself. At the bottom, you get a little bit of information about the author. This varies based on the article. And then you'll also notice there are some related subjects at the bottom. So if you want to follow the thread of the topic, you can select something here, specifically COVID, or if you want to learn more about public health surveillance, preparedness, or other coronaviruses, you can select those there. I'm going to return to the top and show you some of these tools. So the first one I want to show you is the citation tool. When you click on citation, it will generate a citation for you. The default style is MLA 8th edition. 8th edition is the most recent edition of MLA. You can also click and select a different style. There's APA 6th and Trabian 8th. You can, of course, copy and paste the citation information into your Works Cited page or document, but please keep in mind that the citation information is only 90% accurate. You always want to double check your citations for accuracy and follow the actual official style guide. I'm going to go ahead and close this. The other option you have is to print this article. So when you click print, you will get a preview of the article and what it will look like and how many pages it will be once you print it. I don't recommend this option if you are paying for printing, for example. Uh, it's just as well to save a digital copy of this. You can save this as a PDF. That's another option in a print feature, usually on most browsers. So I would recommend that or I would recommend the email function, which is right here. You will type in your email address and click email. It will give you a confirmation that the email was sent. When you open up your email, you will see an email from no reply and the subject will say your ProQuest SIRS issue researcher document. And when you open up your email, you will see the full article will be included in the body of the email. Included in the email is a link up at the top back to the database directing you to this article. 
So if you ever want to return to the article to possibly print it or to get a citation, because a citation is not included in this email, then you can do that here. Just remember that you will have to log back into Access Rio to have access to this database again. Another option is to use one of the cloud services. So if you click on Save to Cloud, you'll have an option of Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. I'm going to select Google Drive because that's what I'm comfortable with using. And I'm going to select my account because I'm not currently connected to my account through this database. Once it makes that connection, it will tell you that there has been a success in saving your document to your Google Drive. In your drive, you will notice there is a folder that has been created for you that is called ProQuesters Issues Researcher. When you go into that folder, you will find the article that you have saved. I have it sorted by name, but you can also sort by last modified. So here is the article that I just sent to my drive and it will open up as a Google Doc. I again have the link to this document directly to the database if I want to return to the database and see the article in there again. And the full article is listed here just as we saw it in the database and through email. Going back to the database, also listed here are related documents to this topic. And if you wanna see more related documents, you can always select this link here. 